Um, hello, ladies and gentlemen, Rapid Chess here. Uh, today I decided to show you this game between Hikaru and uh, Jeffrey Jean, uh, both American players. Jeffrey is uh, very talented. So, uh, uh, Jeffrey played d4. Um, not sure, I think he's more uh, plays uh, closed openings. Hikaru played knight f6, c4, and g6. So, finally, we see something different from this um, a, um, e6 and bishop b4 all the time. Uh, I think Hikaru was thinking that um, against these young players he has more uh, theory knowledge uh, and um, he can, you know, try something different. Bishop g7, uh, in this position you can go straight to d5 for the uh, Grunfeld defense, which Hikaru has been playing, uh, has played a lot, but his trademark uh, is um, uh, King's Indian defense. d6, bishop e2. Um, uh, this might be uh, our back variation, but I might um, be uh, wrong. Uh, castles uh, and bishop to e3. So uh, um, I never played this. I played knight f3 straight away, but. Um, Bishop e2 kind of controls the g4 square, yeah, where you want to throw your knight as, as soon as uh, white plays bishop e3. Uh, so that would happen, e5, and d5 kind of closes the center, yeah. Uh, knight f3, I think, um, uh, also is possible to play, but uh, is d5, white wants to, you know, uh, play a totally closed game. Knight a6, knight f3 finally, and knight to g4. Like immediately when uh, this key square is not protected any, uh, anymore, he jumps with the knight and forces uh, uh, white to move their bishop. Uh, just uh, I want to tell that uh, if, uh, for instance, um, Black does something different, like you know, Bishop d7. Then this is actually a big threat, uh, a positional, uh, big positional advantage for White when they have pieces set up like this, and you cannot throw a Knight g4. Then White is better. White will have this the ideal setup. So uh, Hikaru has to you know break break it down. Uh, so Bishop g5 f6 and h5 uh, so in at my like 2000 level um, this is a very dangerous trap yeah you want to trap uh, this bishop by playing g5 and bishop uh, g3 h4 uh, but uh, definitely these players they know what they're doing uh, and if you play now then you lose this knight here and white is completely winning with extra pawn. Uh, so um, he played knight to d2 and Hikar played knight h6, f3, again defending, saving this bishop, knight f7. Uh, not sure that I would play, I'd, I'd, I'd go for um, uh, f5 first, but um, uh, Hikaru has different plans for this knight, bishop h6. Um, the problem in uh, King's Indian defense is that um, this this bishop, yeah, if you can open it up, then it's uh, one of the strongest pieces in, in chess game, but uh, uh, that's why white is building up this way, that uh, after f5, white will never take ef and open up this bishop, so they, they force black to somehow lose a lot of tempi to do this. But this is uh, one of the ideas in King's Indian defense. Just uh, seldom you see that knight makes so many moves, yeah. Uh, like three moves, uh, and two, three, four moves with the knight, and then bishop h6. c5. Um, I like this idea by uh, Hikaru. Um, this is definitely already uh, out of any theory. And uh, so he just um, 
uh, makes his opponent think yeah, whether to capture the spawn on, or play more solid, but um, um, more solid, but at the same time very slow game. Yeah, and black will somehow develop an attack against white. So I would, I think, capture here and play this position. Um, um, I think it uh, invites favor at some point they have uh, a more clear way how to attack black and uh, but uh, he decided to play this closed position which engine says this uh, totally fine but uh, i think that uh, uh, jeffrey uh, was not sure how to continue because uh, hikaru did everything uh, all his best to you know stop the counter play Bishop d7 and b6. Um, uh, again, white has the space advantage, and uh, you see that no pawns have been traded. Uh, but in the same time, um, black white's attack is quite slow. Rook b1, f5 takes, and he took with this pawn, which engine prefers. Yeah, uh, so b6 is still. Um, uh, closes this file for this rook and uh, white can slowly push here which they will do later in the game but I don't think it's um, I mean again it's too fast yeah and uh, you see that black has this bishop here on h6 which does a lot of damage and uh, queen is ready to join the attack and black has all sorts of uh, moves takes takes uh white allows this because um uh, i mean this bishop is no longer on g7 so black invested in this bishop development with a lot of moves and now they can trade here castles um uh, let's grab the pawn first yeah uh so this is the tactic yeah check and winning the this uh, piece on f5 Okay, so he saw it. Play just castles, queen f6. You don't want to give up this pawn. And knight to e8. Engine uh, just presses this move. Um, this actually maneuver by knight. Uh, uh, so many pieces actually in front of the king, and I'm starting to like uh, black's position, obviously. Yeah, because I mean, this piece is clumped up, but uh, they're not doing too much. A4, king h8, king h8 uh, preparing to play rook to g8. Rook g8, a5, um, h4. Uh, Hikaru plays fast. I mean, um, uh, it's good when you have um, a lot of moves available for you. Yeah, I mean, Hikaru, I mean, uh, a lot of moves make sense. Yeah, then uh, black has obviously a better position. Rook b1, attacking the b6, and now he moves his other knight to f4, just dream square for the knight, takes, takes, e6, and Hikaru plays uh, bishop e6, uh, he says that he will give up this bishop, light square bishop, and he, again, white will invest a lot of uh, tempi and uh, still have no uh, means of counterplay. Knight h5, knight f4, so just huge uh, career for this knight. Uh, already he, he threatens this, he threatens all kind of g2. And um, I mean, this this knight is beautiful. He takes and plays uh, rook to b8. Um, this is uh, uh, one of examples how to convert your material advantage uh, that um, when you have an extra exchange, so very nice to offer this uh, to, to trade this active rook for white, and also you cannot move it back because your b3 knight is hanging. So Hikaru is placed on all all sides of the board. Takes takes knight b5. He throws in h3 uh, like Magnus style. Yeah, that um, this pawn uh, starts to create a lot of damage to white's position with all these back rank issues appearing g3 and he takes 
takes the this piece and takes the knight. So black is piece up. Engine says that these two pawns are actually have some compensation, but um, I don't think that uh, it's um, they're that uh, as, as long as they are divided, separated, then I don't think it's a big issue for black. That was a mistake. Uh, so Hikaru traded, took this pawn. F4 is a critical mistake. Knight d4 takes and he takes here. So this pawn, this uh, knight here and threat of uh, queen a1 checkmate uh, basically uh, won black game, white resigned. Uh, in any case, black at, at, at any point can take on f8. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.